Ring the alarm, cause you know it's born. Brody be bringing the thunder like he came equipped with a storm. All of that talking, though, it ain't gon' ride, boy, this ain't a cab. No, you ain't ready, I think you should really go back to the lab. Cause you gon' lose whoever you choose, fam, I gon' put up a 50. Whether he passing or running, it's getting dotty or sticky. Yeah, he the winner and your team a loser, you better know that before you pick him. Whipping up a bumper liar, might go for a tug on the eagles. Yeah. Yep, what up though, man? Hey, look, man, I need y'all to do me a favor. If y'all support me and rock with your boy, go to X5P for all your muck coin needs, man. Excuse me, excuse me. Use code form for 5% off all your coin purchases. We will be rocking with X5P for all the muck tourneys to come. So make sure you support your boy so I can get that little Skrilla. You feel me? Let's get it. What up, Deutsche Boy Former? We back, man. I got a little special gameplay for you guys, man. Um, I I had turned, for whatever reason, I decided to turn on the uh, Elgato and record this gameplay. No face cam as I shoot the gap right there. And then I'm just going to go over, you know what I'm saying, the gameplay. Post-com style for y'all, man. If y'all like this type of gameplay, or this type of commentary, let me know and I'll bring y'all more of these. Right now, we're going against... Uh, Bunch, same thing as always. That right here, like, come on, man. I love Charles Woodson, but right there, he knocks the picky D out of my hand. So you already know the vibes now. If you miss interceptions on an offensive drive, more than likely they're going to score that drive because they get wild extra chances. Right here, I see him motion out. So whenever I see people motion out, um, I start thinking verticals as boom, we slap another pass uh, down right there. My approach with verticals is, I mean, my approach with bunch is I'm going to come out. I want to see frequently how much they run verticals before I start making my adjustments. Because some people just spam verts. Some people mix it in sparingly as he goes verts right here. So you see I run there, drop down to grab him, play really good defense. Uh, right here, I should have sent Hendricks. As you can see, Charles Wilson on 4th and 13 does not come down to play the two guys in that area. And we give up a huge 4th down conversion. Right there. I don't know why, bro, but people who play with Dan Marino scramble and roll out a lot, bro, which is why I went with the spy. Because no one ever sits still in the pocket, man. So right here, um, per the usual. So if you bag somebody on their first drive and they're not able to, you know what I'm saying, dot up how they usually dot up, they'll get to just spam in the run. And, dog, Dorique Henry... That boy a different breed, bro. Like I, I haven't met a, I, I haven't got a car jet that can hit him and put him down, bro. As you can see, that's the brand new. That's ninety. I think my running lot is ninety five overall with ninety five speed, and he just gets bulldozed. I have um, I got Jamal Adams playing the slot for me as I shoot the gap right there. I mean, sub linebacker with Ed Reed. I'm getting rid of Jamal Adams. Y'all let me know down in the comment section who I should pick up. You know what I'm saying? Which is, I'm like, come on, read option. Uh, so I take note of that. So um, I set my read option to conservative so I can play the quarterback. And then I'll try to shoot the gap on Derrick Henry. Because eventually, he's going to keep it with Dan Marino. Trust me. They always try to keep it at least once. So that's what I'm waiting for. That I got Lawrence Taylor on the edge. The moment he keep it, I'm going to blow him up. Right there, I do a really bad ju ju job with my user getting across the field. If I can get across the field fast enough, then I can blow that up. I'm sliding Ed Reed over on the edge so he can get around. And right, right there, he keeps it. Dan Marino gets hit by Lawrence Taylor but does not fumble the rock, man. So we've already missed out. I, I want to say it's two or three interceptions. So now we're playing, like, essentially, we just waiting for him to score so we can get the ball and do what we do. You know what I'm saying? Um, just spamming the run, spamming the run. A lot of people get tight about uh, regs, but weekend league, you it's really good, comp like, pro players that I, I I enjoy going up against. But other than the play, other than the pros, bro, it's really no difference than regs. Whole bunch of dudes who, who, who run the ball a lot and chew clock. So I don't understand the huge difference that people say is there between regs and mutt, besides pro players. 
and then you'll run into the celeb uh, was like celebrities who play mud and, and you know what I'm saying the famous folk but like base people bro it's the same the same style of football man just with 90s everywhere bro like the the pro players make mud what it is bro like I haven't seen a huge uh jumping competition from like just playing like the regular Joe Schmo you know what I'm saying but yeah, that deal. With that deal, how I feel. Um, I'm gonna try to stream some. I'm gonna try to stream tonight on Twitchy Poo and get that banged out. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all slide through, man. My uh, Twitch is form underscore on underscore yt. Y'all slide through, bro. I probably go live about seven as long as I can get my videos done. Um, this I got a CFM game to knock out tonight, which I low key need to be simming soon as I finish with this video. Also, I'm thinking, like, I seen the K-Mac video that inspired me. I got two ideas I need to run past y'all. Uh, right here, so he, okay, I already, as y'all, you know what I'm saying, y'all see me setting up the offense, boom, hit the checky down. Y'all know, I'm always telling y'all, take the checkies if they there. But I'm thinking of getting, uh, doing a Sim CFM, like, real style football, which I don't understand or care about at all. But I have so many people who always complain about how, oh, you guys are cheesy, blue, blue, blue. So I was thinking about getting into a league as he shoots the gap. That caters more to sim style. It'll be fun. You know what I'm saying? Let me know if y'all want to uh, want to see me do that. Also, they brought squads back to uh, my, I think you can do red squads too. So if, yo, if you guys want to, I'm thinking about doing a uh, red squad CFM. You know what I'm saying? Just just fun, entertaining type content. Y'all also let me know if y'all interested. Right there, I threw that late. And then, I th not only did I throw it late, I tried to click on and then uh, A, catch it, but I got a really bad animation right there. Well, not, I didn't get a bad animation. He got a better animation. So, I throw the pick right there. So, immediately, the first thing you think when you throw a pick in my bro, GG's in the chat. Because it's so hard to put together stops on mutt, man. It really is. Regs, mutt, stops are very hard to come by. And for me to get stopped on my very first drive is a, is a really, really bad sign. Like, I don't feel like dude is, like, wild good or anything of the sort. You know what I'm saying? I made a bad read, so now I got to pay for that bad read. Like, his bunch does isn't giving me, like, crazy trouble right here. For the most part, we've had his pass in the bag. We've dropped some picks, but pass-wise, we've been extremely good. So we get him to a fourth and eleven right here, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna I'm send pressure. Like I've been, I've been working on a shed glitch I got, and then y'all see it right here. If y'all been watching my videos, y'all have seen this glitch before. It is not super consistent. You know what I'm saying? And how I get it to come in, but sometimes against, uh, especially against bunch looks. I get it to come in like here and there, right there. You see, I get him to loop right around two man pressure, and we get the sack, and then we force the turnover right there. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's not super consistent at all. It's because sometimes, like, you'll get nano detected or it'll get picked up. It's it's not a hard uh, glitch to pick up, honestly. You know what I'm saying? But I get it to I get it to come in maybe a couple times a game. Shut your mouth. I'm not telling y'all what it is. Because everybody keep telling me, oh, you need to find a ooh, good throw, Mike. I um, Find some blitzes. I'm not a heavy blitzer, bro. Especially not in this, man. I'm more of a um, coverage and adjustment guy, man. Let me make my adjustments and coverage. Let me see what you run. Boom, boom, boom. And then I'll make my adjustments. And right there, Mike Vic fires a laser right there. Tuggy tug to my boy, Randy Momo. Also, I'm thinking about doing, uh, I'm thinking about getting rid of, um, rid of Mike Vick, but I just don't know who to get besides Herbert. And Herbert go for a million. I'm not trying to spend a milli. So also let me know who y'all want me to grab on that tip. Another thing for you guys. Uh, I'm thinking about starting a new series, but it would be based in streams. We would do uh, 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 like a help your mutt series. So me... You know what I'm saying? Y'all know we do the sub money games and we do all that. I was thinking about doing another series. Like, uh, we have mutt tournaments and then the winner of the mutt tournaments win like a bundle. 
It might be a, a Legends bundle. Whatever the bundle is, you win the bundle and we help people grow their mutt teams. You know what I'm saying? Just the same way we do same way I do sub money games. I have subs play for money. The winner gets, you know what I'm saying, 10, 20, 50, 100 dollars, whatever it is, whatever, however it's popping that day. I want to do something else uh similar to that. Help people grow their mutt squads, man. Cause, cause, cause I'm gonna keep it a buck. It hurt me to say it, man. It's hard to play regs because most of the people on regs is when they were, when the RPO glitch was popping, all they was doing was RPO glitching. It's another RPO glitch everybody is doing. A lot of them is DC glitching now. And the remainder is just chewing clock and running a ball. So it's hard to get regs content, man. For like now if I was um if I wasn't doing YouTube or anything of the sort, then I probably would still be playing regs. But because I'm not and I'm trying to get good content, it's hard for me to play regs and still, you know what I'm saying, push out content, quality content how I want to push it out. So, in that in itself, it's kind of hard. But right here, we give, we hold him to three, the end and a half. We get ball, so that's kind of clutch for us. So right here we um coming out to have all I need to do is just get seven, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um the one thing about regs, I mean about mud that you have to have to be cognizant of, bro, is clock management. You got to be able to manage your clock correctly and then some in some you know what I'm saying, so you got to be able to um limit possessions, you know what I'm saying? Uh coming out of here, I if I can, just hold him to one possession. But usually when I'm creating, like I'm creating content, I, I'm going to play it straight up. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to clock you, chew clock or none of that. And y'all have seen how it's cost me against like some of the biggest pros out there. But you know what I'm saying? I don't be tripping too much about it. So right here, he's all of them down through 3-5 wide. I know once he spreads that line, inside zone is kind of out of there. The only way you can still run inside zone against this is if you do not double his DT. But if you don't double or run stuff DT... He'll shed you really quickly. I want to say unless you got like, uh, is it post up? But I don't have any abilities on my line. So I think once I get Herbert, it'll free up a little bit more sp uh, space where I can take some of these abilities off my guys and just Herbert with Hot Route Master be able to put the pain in for me. So right here, I'm going to roll. I make a huge, huge mistake that should have been picked. Right there. I expected for him to um, stay there and then the post go over top. But what I did not do is I wasn't patient. I should have waited for him to clear to see if the throw was available because he kind of just sat on the post and then drove on it, which, you know what I'm saying, the defenses rarely ever do. But boom, right here, hit the check down, pick up the quick first down with Patterson. Don't worry, y'all. I still got Ezekiel, man. He still get carried for me. Don't worry. You know what I'm saying I can't part with him yet, man. He just he he mean too much to the squad and the Negroes. So right here again, I'ma just keep taking this underneath stuff. You know what I'm saying until I figure out exactly what dog is doing right there. I'm looking up top, completely miss my uh curl route, and then he comes back to the ball and I miss it. Excuse me, that's on me because I'm trying to get like real gritty because in my mind I'm managing clock. So it's like I kind of want to uh, get to the point right here where I should have either been scored or I just need to clock them. So right here I actually hit the curl that time. And then in my head I'm like I'm thinking, like, okay, I want to score before the one-minute mark of the third quarter. And then, you know what I'm saying, I'll make a decision on whether or not I'm going to onside kick him. And I'm not onside kicking him to get the return. I'm going to kick it towards my guys. So he'll get the ball on like the 38 40 because he has to accept that penalty. Because I'm going to recover the ball, but it's going to be a legal touching on me. So if he has to accept the penalty, I get him around the 30 to 40 with a whole fourth quarter left. And then, you know what I'm saying? I'll get a chance to get the ball back. So that's what I'm thinking. Like, I don't onside to recover unless I catch them in regular formation. But if they're on onside, I'm onsiding to regulate clock to make sure I get that rock back. So right here, I'm already at the point where it's like I probably won't score, you know what I'm saying, before that mark. So just let me just make sure I get seven. 
right here boom get out of there that's why i got 93 speed vic he's not as like he don't he not as crazy with escape artists but i like him better with uh, the abilities i have on him uh quick draw pass lead elite and i also have roman dead eye on him because I, i'm just way more comfortable being a pocket passer and then utilizing his legs when i need to you know what I'm saying? Him being lefty kind of throws me off, but it is what it is. As y'all can see right here, I'm not rushing no more, man. Um, just thinking in the game like, yo, I'm actually really good defensively against dude. He hasn't really been killing me. So this is four down territory for me. Get this score and then get back. If I do not score, then it's probably GG's. Right there, uh, Big 70 Sev didn't pick up his responsibility. My O-line is not the best because I'm running that 50-50 Raiders theme team. So I don't have, like, my line is not as good as it was before I got the 50 out of 50. So, again, this is, I'm, I'm just thinking, like, do I want to run this thing three times or do I want to air the ball out? So right here we go to flanker dig. Now you'll see. All right, so everybody asks me how I make my reads. I don't stay on a read too long as I throw a pick. And the reason I throw the pick is because initially the purple kind of hovers over the streak. So once it hovers over the streak, I leave the streak and I make my way to my dig route. But I, re I make the dig read way too late and we end up throwing a pick. He animates really nice with that acrobat. And essentially, bro, like, this could kill the game. The only saving grace is I have him under the five. So it's like, all right, cool. Let me stop the run and then force dude to pass. I don't feel like his pass game is crazy. So I'm going to start messing around with my zone drops. You know what I'm saying? Right here, I go 25. If, I think I have my hooks on 10. Because I know with Acrobat, if you, like, um, Charles Woodson especially is going to play extremely, extremely aggressive. So right now I'm messing with my shading and everything, trying to get that right. Charles Woodson comes down because I click my right stick in and makes the play on the ball right here. I know he's going right back to that pass because he's like those little short um, like outs that go around the 10-yard marker. So he runs it again right there. Boom. He plays it how I want him to play it. Now we don't get the pick. And because I know he completed that pass, eventually he's going to go back to that route. What I have to do is figure out a way to delay him going to the route. Because the more I delay him on going to the route, the better Charles Wilson will play that. And then we may be able to force a stop. So again, I'm not going to change my defensive adjustments. I'm just going to uh, change my shot, my shading, my spotlighting, etc. Try to stop the run. And then when he makes that throw again, right there, I should have got the pick. I got Acrobat on my user. I'm in the right position. I just just didn't animate how I wanted to to get that pick. So now we get into the territory. Like, um, I probably have about, if he doesn't take this to the two-minute warning, I got to start burning TOs. So I'm hoping he does He, I, I, Well, I am going to um, get one possession before he does. Burns, I mean, get to the two-minute warning. So I stop him right there. I'm going to let this go to the two-minute warning. And I'm going to try my hardest not to burn any timeouts. I may have to burn one. But if I, I have to get a stop this drive, if I can burn, if I could just burn one, make him punt the ball, I'm sitting pretty. If I got to burn two, it's not ideal. But, you know what I'm saying, it is what it is. So, like I said, again, I know what he wants. Boom, he throws to a, a check down. I, he got cheated, but I would have liked to got that interception, bro, because I feel like had it been me, that's a picky D. So y'all see me switching on my drops, checking on my drops. I'm going to go to the same defense I went to before. The only difference is I want to say I increased my purples to t uh, 10 to play it a little bit higher and force him to make that delay on throwing that ball. So boom, we pick this up. We go to the second level for the curl. He tries to go over top it. Ugh, Ronnie Lennon with the picky D. And literally all I had to do, all I did to make Ronnie play that, I just slid him over a little bit. I shaded to the uh, outside. And uh, he played it well. That 95 speed got over there. And he's six feet tall, so he was able to go up and get it. Y'all can see I'm playing really aggressive on the routes. 
that he played before. And then we, with good adjustments, we able to go up there and get that rock. So now it's just on me to get seven. Get seven is, I don't care how much time it takes. I know you, a lot of y'all like, well, why would you run? Because it's a minute 41 and I got three timeouts. I know he's coming out in heavy pass coverage. So I could sneak in some 10 to 15 yard runs, which are just as, it, it's hot. Hold on, y'all, these lights. Which is just as good as anything else that I'm putting on the field. You know what I'm saying? If you can pass for 10 to 15 every time you come out, you'll be like, yeah, we get, we're making our way down the field. But if I can do that with the run, I'm doing the same thing right there. Boom, pass lead. The lead allows me to hit Brandon Marshall on that corner route. We pick up another 15 to 20. Boom, a minute 13 left. We already on the 30. Like I said, I'm, I, I record for good content, bro. So I'm not about to clock. I ain't even about to clock him. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give him a chance. As crazy as it sounds, I mean, I just like good videos. And plus, I don't mind playing defense to win the game. Now, if I'm if I'm off stream and I'm just trying to get through weekend league or to get my 18 wins, etc., I'll play a different style. But when I'm just recording for gameplay, it's different. Boom. Hit Patterson there inside the, inside the 10. 40 seconds left. If he not going to burn on T.O., then I, like, that's kind of on you. Like, I'm not going to clock you. But you're not about to sit up here and just let this clock dwindle and dwindle. Now, me right there, I called a timeout right there because I don't know why the hell I called a timeout right there, honestly. Well, I mean, like, because I could have let it drip and then and came out because I'm inside the, the 10, so it won't be another first down. But right here, I just roll out. A high ball possession catch, boom, Brandon Marshall. I knew where I was going with that ball in that red zone. So, ideally, I mean, I guess I could have, like, let the clock dwindle, which I usually do. You know what I'm saying? Force them to force, but he's, <clears throat> I'm sorry. He was winning, so he's not going to call a timeout, and I was already in a position where I could tie the game up. So, I could have let the clock the clock window because in bunch it's so many beaters and deep half glitches middle third glitches and everything bro you never know what they're gonna hit you with out of bunch so ideally it would be smart to just clock them down and then try to win the game because he got 14 like it's a lot of y'all say it's only 14 seconds 14 seconds and three timeouts is a ton of time to get seven especially in the offense like bunch so right here, as you see, I'm playing extremely aggressive and deep. Well, not aggressive, conservative, and I'm playing deep. I don't want to give up anything big. Boom, he throws it up. Ugh, Ronnie Lott versus Randy Momo. And Ronnie Lott win, and we end up taking the game, man. Huge game, man. Um, I want to say that gave me like 15-3 and three at this point. I, I want to say I was in weekend league. Like, I was, it was just a lot of hell games, bro. But we end up coming out with that big dub, man. Appreciate everybody for rocking with your boy. Hope you all continue to smash that like button and show love, man. And I'll get it y'all tomorrow, man. Peace.